Hey guys, and welcome back to Film Fiend. So, Kenny, what are some of your favorite movies? Most of my favorite films are foreign films. Um, a lot of them are subtitled, so they're not very popular, which gives me a reason to go to the movies by myself and not look creepy. Oh, nice. It's awesome. It's always important not what to look creepy. What are your creepy. favorite types of movies? Um, anything Melissa. 80s cheese or um, and some nice 70s gang movies, like a little Switchblade Sisters Sweet. or something like that. I love horror films, but you know who else loves movies? Who else loves movies? Well, that would be Movie Matthew, and he is back this week with some Movie Math News. Julia Roberts is going to play the Evil Queen in, in a Snow White uh, remake, remake by the Brothers Grimm people. And what do you think of her being a villain? I think she'll uh, do good because we've never seen her as a villain before. Movie Math News. In Motor City, uh, their plans, their plans to get a Robocop statue just like the uh, Rocky statue, but the mayor says they're not going to do it. Will Homer Simpson be there? They get punched in the face by the Rocky statue again. Movie Math News. Justin Bieber's new movie, Never Say Never, is opening for one week only. Do you think it's going to be one week, or do you think it'll be more than one week, like Michael Jackson's movie went longer? And speaking of Justin Bieber, Movie <laughs> Math News. <laughs> <laughs> Mel Gibson and Joni Foster are in a new movie called The Beaver. No, not about Justin Beaver, but about a puppet a puppet that's a beaver, wood chip and eating beaver. <laughs> it's supposed to come out in March, but they moved it to May. Will it come out in time? I don't know. And Lindsay Lohan's going to maybe be in the new Superman movie. We don't know what character he's going to play, but right now she's got grand theft charges. But for right now, she can play Lex Luthor. <laughs> <laughs> and for right now, we all we know is she could play Lex Luthor from jail. <laughs> <laughs> and no me, yo, and Juliet. What is this movie you're, I'm talking about? Oh, that's right. It's the remake of no Romeo and Juliet. It's a new animated film for kids, which, uh, why would they animate that for kids when it's got guns, uh, swords, <laughs> and violence? And, Oh, and by the way, Ozzy Osbourne's in it. Can you understand a word he's about? Movie Math News. This weekend is Adam Sandler's new movie, Just Go With It. Yeah, just go with my uh, talking about his new movie. And, um, and coming out later this year, he has two more films, Zookeeper in July with Kevin James. Hope it's maybe better or worse than um, uh, Paul Bark Mall Cop. And also, he's got November, uh, uh, Jack and Jill, where he plays a man and a woman. Movie Math News. Did you ever see that? <laughs> did you ever see? Did you? Ever, <laughs> did you ever see that episode when Homer, when they got punched in the mouth? Okay. Movie Math News. Valentine's Day is coming up, and you and I got three suggestions for movies you can watch: Fifty First Dates, Fever Pitch, and if you don't want to stay home, you can go to the Esquire and see Sixteen Candles at 7 p.m. Sunday and Monday. And here are some of my favorite movies of 2010: um, Despicable Me. Uh, Unstoppable, uh, uh, The Town, uh, and that's about it. There's so many I can't think of them all. Movie Math News.